We're going to talk about some places for you to meet women without going to bars and clubs where the competition is extremely high. This video is about general guidelines and warnings for each places, especially for places like gyms and colleges. Approach openers are in a separate video where you can learn about using your observational skills to create your own openers. The beach. You'll find plenty of women here, various age groups. It's mostly a relaxing environment. The people here, they're not in a rush and they're here to enjoy themselves. And since it's very public with lots of foot traffic, women feel a little bit safer. And sometimes they put less of a guard up in the beginning. Make sure your eye contact is on point and not to look above her chin level. You know, you don't want to be caught with your eyes looking at the wrong place at the wrong time, especially when she's wearing a bikini. There's plenty of time for that later when she agrees to be with you. The beach is one of those places where if your body game, your physique is on top, you don't have to do a lot of work. Just come out there, enjoy yourself, walk around. Uh, bring a dog if you have it, or just walk around and if you get some eye contact, then just approach. A lot more difficult to go to the beach and talk to girls if you don't have a good body. Oh, it's possible, but it's just in the later phases of your journey when you learn to approach more. City centers and streets near them. These places are usually gatherings near mall areas. You'll find all sorts of business here from home improvement stores to grocery stores, clothing and food. And you can do direct approaches here because every time you visit, most likely there's going to be a new batch of women being rotated in. The gym is one of these controversial because some people say don't approach women, some people say go ahead. And also in an age where there's plenty of people in the gym who are videotaping their workouts, you might get caught in the video and be on the internet. In approaching at the gym, you're walking on a piece of land that has a lot of mines all over the place. It's okay to approach some women. You just need to practice reading the room, kind of watching the environment, and especially not interrupting her mid-session. Let her finish her, her set and literally let her breathe first. Give her some physical space, especially if she did some heavy workout. Because, you know, after you do some heavy squats, right, you kind of don't want people kind of rushing in towards you. You, you want to have some space to breathe a little bit. And then if people want to talk, okay, you'll answer. And remember, just because she's looking at you doesn't mean she's interested. She might be interested in the machine. Meetup groups. This is entirely dependent on the area in which you live. Typically, it's a sausage fest, depending. And also because women are a bit intimidated to go to random meetup groups for safety reasons. You know, that's why you see more men here. But if you live in a huge, big city, meetups are great because people come here wanting to meet other people. So their protective guard, their stranger danger is kind of lowered just a little bit. It's tricky here in your direct approach. You can't just you can't just tell a girl she's cute because you're always surrounded by people who you've already met at the meetup group. So this is why it's hard to tell if a girl is interested in you romantically or she's just being friendly and polite. Pay attention to how she interacts with you versus the other guys and what kind of questions she asks you. Of course, if she's paying attention more to you and asking you more questions than the other guys, yeah, then she might really be into you. College. If you go to a college, it's an absolute gold mine. And the great thing is that, you know, since you're on college, you already know their age group. You can do direct approaches sometimes when you have good indicators. But a lot of times, indirect approaches can work. And that's typically what I recommend. Because in college, your reputation matters. People say, just go for it, go for it. No, you've got to protect your reputation. Right? Depending on the size of the college, and if it's too small, then you, you, you really cannot go around approaching every girl telling her she's cute or beautiful. Because now you come off at, as that guy who goes around hitting every girl. And other girls will tell each other this. And it's not a good look for you. So typically in this one, you literally just practice saying hi, hello, and see how re she responds and you take it from there. The one thing to avoid is the midterm time. And the finals time because these are the most stressful times and you know people want to study 
And if you see that somebody's studying during these times, just kind of leave them alone. You got studies to do. She, so does she. Because at this time, stress level is so high that there's a high, much higher chance for her to reject you. Shopping centers and malls. If you like a little bit of a laid back time, go during the weekdays. Less people there. But to find many available girls, go after around 4 p.m. That's where many people get off work. So direct approach and indirect approach here. The one thing to caution about direct approach. If you're bad at telling a girl's age, avoid it. Because you don't want to go up to someone who is really biologically young. But who looks mature on the outside and you tell her that she looks pretty or beautiful. Only to find out she's very, very young. Go into the park. Go here to typically enjoy yourself. That's your first and primary thing. To exercise, walk, sightsee. You know, I usually bring some sort of jump rope or some gymnastic ring or a skateboard when I was younger. And sometimes people would approach and talk and that's how you, you take it from there. You can do direct approaches here because most parks are so big and the regular speaking volume doesn't travel very far. So if you're afraid of other people and hearing you when you approach women, then it's a good place. And besides, so many people are so occupied with doing their stuff, they don't care here. And even if you don't get to talk to girls, you at least get to build a better physique. Grocery stores, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Sprouts, Target, things like that. It's actually a very high hit or miss. Typically because women are not there to meet guys. They're there just to buy some damn food. Most are not expecting a guy to come there and sweep them off their feet. And it's a little bit difficult to find an escape route if something doesn't go according to plan from your perspective. Because I mean, what are you going to do? Drop your hand basket on the floor and just walk out? You came here for the spaghetti sauce. With grocery stores, sometimes all you'll find is unavailable women or everyone's just rushing. So don't go here expecting to meet women too often, unless you're in a huge, major city. It's actually a good place to practice indirect approach. But you need to be a little bit more subtle. And make sure to give her plenty of physical space. You know, the, the subtle method would be saying something about the environment or the circumstance. You can tell her after you made quick eye contact. It's busy today. I guess we came at the wrong time. Or maybe you notice one of your favorite food or something is sold out. You can say that these are great. They always sell out. With grocery stores, it's about gauging her reaction to you and seeing how she reacts. Just make sure to stay away from Walmart. If you know, you know. Volunteering. Huge hit or miss. Don't go here expecting to meet a bunch of women. Go here if you enjoy Helping, you know, things like shelter dogs and cats and beach cleanup, man. It's a really good way to meet other guys, too. Don't discount this. It's actually important to have male friends, especially when both of you are into self-improvement and women. Local events, carnivals, festivals, concerts, and things like that. If you can find these in your area, you just go to town, have fun with direct approaches. It's fine. You're most likely not going to see you each other again. And actually quite a few handful of the people here will be either from far away or some out of town area. You're here to honestly have fun. Women are not your primary right now. So if you do see people and you're standing around, you're waiting for something, make eye contact. You know, your typical small talk, typical question. So art museum and similar places. Very nice, quiet, relaxing places. And women's guards are typically not put on full blast. Just because museums, they tend to be a safer place. Partly due to the ambiance and partly due to the fact that many museums, they have security guards in the entrance. So it makes visitors feel more at ease. And even if you don't know much about artists or art type, you only need to bring one thing. Your childhood sense of curiosity. I typically avoid direct approach. It's a very small place, very super quiet. So, if I'm going to make some sort of advance, right, it's basically just come over, look at the painting, right, turn your head to the side a little bit, look at her, and just simply say, this is a beautiful painting. And now you're looking for how receptive she is. 
That's all there is to it. If she gives you a one word answer, oh yeah, it is. And right, there's no excitement, then whatever. But if she's receptive, you can follow up and say, but you are more beautiful though. You can make a statement about the use of colors or about the artist's style in their abstract painting. Singles event. Great thing is that people are literally here to meet other people for a potential romantic relationship. You might think that there's hundreds of things that you gotta think about, but don't. Focus on two things, having fun and relaxing. Tell yourself that a hundred times if you need it. Because if you're not having fun and you're not relaxed, being here is going to suck. So just calm down your mind and enjoy the night. That's all you can do in this.